I swear Mexican spiced hot chocolate is the best hot chocolate in the world. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very special recipe. It's a Mexican spice hot chocolate and it's a hot chocolate that is usually served around the Day of the Dead or Christmas in Mexico. It has lots of spices like cinnamon and clove and vanilla bean and anistar and it is sweetened with raw sugar, piloncillo, that's what they call it. Um, different Latin American countries call it different names. I'm going to um, list all of those names in the description so you can go to a store and ask for all those names. It's basically the same kind of raw sugar. And the base of the hot chocolate is a very thick hot chocolate that you make with just water so you can then mix it with any kind of milk. So it's perfect for a big Christmas party where you might have some dairy intolerance, some people that love almond milk, some people that love coconut milk, others that only drink house milk. This way you have a water-based, very thick hot chocolate syrup, so to speak, that you can then mix with any kind of milk you prefer. And the way I froth my milk is one of those frother thingies. There's, well, there's most expensive ones and there's also cheap ones. The cheap ones are usually the ones that you just stick into uh, your cup. You can choose whichever. This one is my favorite. It is from, oh, Fodum, not sponsored. I really, really like it. And uh, you can put in any kind of milk and you turn on the little button and then it heats it up and it frothes it and then your hot chocolate looks absolutely beautiful. So let's start. We begin by cutting open a vanilla bean lengthwise so all the seeds can come out when you cook it. You add that vanilla bean to a small saucepan and to that same saucepan you add the piloncillo, two sticks of cinnamon, an honest star, two cloves, half a cup of raw cacao and two cups of water. Give all that a quick stir and then put on the lid and let it simmer on low heat for approximately five minutes. This will speed up the uh, sugar dissolving. The sugar takes quite a while to dissolve. And then after those five minutes, you remove the lid so most of the water can evaporate and the hot chocolate becomes more syrup-like and really, really thick. It takes quite a while for the water to evaporate and the hot chocolate to become thick and syrup-like. So be patient before you start fishing out all the spices. It takes 15 to 20 minutes to get to this consistency and that's when you want to fish out the spices. That's when you want to fish out the vanilla bean and the cinnamon sticks and the honest star and then fish and fish and fish around until you find the cloves. An easier way is probably just running everything through a sieve and that way you would just have everything in the sieve. Then either leave it in the pot or transfer everything to a nice carafe so you have it on hand for when your guests come over. And to prepare the hot chocolate, you add about a quarter cup of this syrup-like hot chocolate and you top it off with hot milk. Give it a stir if you want to. Sprinkle some cinnamon on top, put a honest star as decoration and serve. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. It's so delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try. You have to try it. Make it for Christmas. Make it every winter night. Holy cow, it's absolutely delicious. I had forgotten about it. I haven't made it in quite a while. I have forgotten how delicious it is. Oh, please try the recipe. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this one. And if you try the recipe and you like it, please snap a picture, post it on Instagram, tag me. I want to see, I want to know how you liked it. And I'll see you with my next video. Bye.